Right now, we have a, a threefold uh, strategy. Uh, one, we are rushing, as you know, uh, meals into Ukraine. And I'm not going to mention where, uh, because uh, you're the first to hear this. Yeah, Dave, uh, that one of our Dave Grant and I were talking before the show about there's a number of things obviously you can't talk about specifically uh, because yeah. what what we're doing there is uh, clandestine and we're in the middle of a of a hostile territory, right, Grant? Yeah, exactly. I mean, we totally understand that it's a sensitive situation, and so you know, definitely not something that we want to exploit or anything like that but certainly grateful for what you're doing and you know anything that you are able to tell us about just to get the word out there well thank you grant yeah if i could illustrate that uh one of our distribution depots that we were looking to use uh, was a facility that was bombed uh on, overnight on sunday killing 39 Ugh. our leader there who was going to be handling the distribution of the product to needy families, uh, he survived. And uh, if our product had not been delayed, uh, he would have been killed. So uh, the stakes uh, couldn't be higher. And uh, so thank you for being sensitive to that. But we're rushing emergency food uh, into Ukraine, even behind uh, enemy lines. And we need to pray for their safety. These are heroic drivers. Uh, secondly, as you mentioned, Paul, we're building out the capacity of these churches uh, so that they can care for even more uh, refugees. For example, they're in Luplin. It's about an hour from the border. Uh, they are, we're handling about, caring for about 80 refugees. We're expanding that to 250. And we're injecting some significant resources into other churches to expand uh, their ability to serve these families. And then uh, third, uh, we are taking on uh, specific projects, such as that train station. And that train station is, it's a haunted house. Yeah. And I have video of it going through it. Uh, the manager of that train station said to me, we don't need pictures, we need cots. And I said, okay, well, because of uh, the generosity of the people of the Lord, uh, cots, blankets, pillows are being set up all over uh, that train station. And we're also going to be doing things to encourage the workers that are that are there many, I mean, around the clock. Dave, this is uh, exactly why the Western Journal and the Liftable companies have partnered with you. Uh, we are working together as the hands and feet of Jesus in the region that's so in, in need of support and help. Uh, and vital, timely supplies, and that's why we appreciate CityServe International and your work and your team's work on the ground. I know you just got back, and you're probably exhausted, so we're grateful that you're taking the time with us here today. But, you know, at Western Journal, we're journalism with a shepherd's heart. So we're journalists here advancing the truth, the truth of Christ, and the truth of what's going on on the ground there in Ukraine and Poland and the region, but it's with a servant's heart, it's with a shepherd's heart, it's with a believer's heart. That's why these partnerships, the body of Christ coming together, and what you're doing there is so vital. Why should, tell our viewers, and I know this is a, a, a straightforward or simple question, but tell our viewers why they should care. Why should people in the West, who are protected in America, why should we care about what's going on half a world away? Well, I believe when Jesus said, I was hungry and you gave me food, I was thirsty, you gave me drink, I was naked, you gave me clothing, I was a stranger, you took me in. Uh, and the disciples were baffled. They're asking, we, we've never seen you hungry, thirsty. And, and I believe Jesus was referring back to the time when he was a refugee, mm. when he was unwelcome, unloved as a child. And he said, as you've done it unto the least of these, these refugees, you've done it for me. So that's reason enough. Uh, but the other is that I believe the Lord wants to give us a new uh, level of compassion and empathy. Uh, the, when you, again, when you see these young women and these children that, that uh, are traumatized, they have nothing. I, re I reached out to hug one young lady uh, like a daughter. And, and as I pulled away, she pulled me back. Mm -hmm. That's why.
Yeah. Yeah.